This is an uh, SPC 560D development board uh, with this board. It has a built-in JTAG. Uh, the, the STM, they have built-in JTAG here. You can use directly use the USB connect to PC, both power the chip as well as program the chip. Uh, it also has another JTAG port on this side. So in this video, I'm going to compare the built-in JTAG and the Ulink NT to program this device. And you can see Ulink NT can program the device as well. So in the future, you have a board that need to be accessed through JTAG, you can consider using Ulink NT. The coming um, JTAG here has uh, the software, free software, but it has limited 128 kilobyte of flash usage. Otherwise, you need to pay additional license for it. So here is the uh, SPC Studio. I have loaded this example uh, application and we can go here to trigger the, uh, they call UDE STK uh, 2021. And here you can open the file, which I already generated here. It's a debug here. communicating and it doing some initialization at this area and you can click OK. It then pop up the they call memory programming tool. The memory programming tool allows you to program as well as you know some basic programming feature. I already erased this entire chip but so we can let's say we can test the empty. Let's say we want to test the empty click here and then we can select all the sectors we want to test. This is uh, 256 kilobyte of uh, flash so we can click start what this does is it's read all the flash and check if this is uh, empty or not which is FF clearly it is but it will take quite a significant long time compared to uh, Unink NT. Unink NT probably take it you know one two seconds so let's compare them So it says all empty here, which they did. So now I'm going to exit and I'm going to program the flash. The, fla uh, the program itself is not too big, so it will be only uh, take very small chunk of it. So let's say I click program, it will program zero to I think three, three, seven, seven. Uh, that's the maximum. And then we can see it is, uh, I can read power off and the LED start blinking, which means this is functional now. So let's do the, uh, the Ulink NT programming. So in order to program the Ulink NT, you cannot power the uh, board through this USB port. You have to power on through the 12 volt on this end. I also make the uh, Ulink NT a jump cable to connect. This is 14 pin and this is 10 pin. So I connect like so here. I can now power on the, the, the board through the 12 volt here. You cannot use here because the JTAG is going to access through this one. Then I can connect the Ulink NT through here. And on the, in the, in the Unix NT software 1.43, I have created this target board called SPC 560D4. You can click detect. It will detect both code flash and the data flash. And I'm going to read it. Let's say I'm going to read it, this whole thing. And the flash is red. Uh, I think there's only certain portions being programmed, which is about here. So we can save it. So I can save this flash here, say save it to a backup. Uh, I can also do uh, erase as well. So I can, let's, let me say erase it. And it's erased so we can initialize and we can verify it's erased. Look at how fast this can do, okay, look at 
uh, it's one and within two seconds, even though I have not yet selected the fast clock speed, there is some limitation if I can use a fast clock. And at this time we could, but if you have a raw uh, board without any flash or uh, any firmware on it, then you cannot use the fast pr programming. Uh, in the 1.43, I added a feature called blank check, which is called BL, and you can tab it blank check and C flash. This is done exactly the same as the uh, this tool. You, you, this is exact same as the the uh, UDE STK, and it will not try to put uh, ask you to put everything FF here. You can still have this done here uh, loaded. But this will try to see if the flash is empty or not. So if you um, type enter, it will read every flash and say, oh, it's blanked. But if I want to decide to program it, let's say I want to program this flash, I can do so. Oh, wait a second. Before I program it, I can prove this is currently uh, erased. So now I unplug it and plug it back. The LED will not blinking. So now I can say, go ahead again. And then I can detect the flash. So since I already load the content, I can program it and look at how fast it is. And you know, within within one second, it's programmed. Now let's see if this is programmed properly. And you can see its LED is blinking. 